Viva Las Vegas! No more singing. But we will put in review the NHRA Dodge Finals at the Strip Las Vegas Motor Speedway right here on Monday Morning Racer. It's next. <laughs> And so it is, we come to a conclusion of the Camping World NHRA 2020 season for the professional categories of Top Fuel, Funny Car, Pro Stock, and Pro Stock Motorcycle. And we ride off into the sunset of 2020, all hoping for a brighter 2021. And I think the top story period for NHRA professional drag racing is this, that we had an actual season in 2020. 11 championship rounds for the fuel categories, 10 points paying races for pro stock, and 8 points earning races for pro stock motorcycle made up the Camping World 2020 season. And folks, this season I think will go down as the most challenging season the NHRA has ever had due to the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. They got it in though. Races ran and won. Champions crowned. Every race had fans with a pit pass. The NHRA living up to its registered trademark phrase, every ticket a pit pass. So many said that there would be no season after the Gainesville postponement. Forces out. So should the NHRA be out as well in 2020. They're going to shut it down after Indy 1, 2, 3, the U.S. Nationals. Oh no, they're going to shut it down after Houston and we're not actually going to get to Las Vegas. The NHRA is going bankrupt. So many rumors. Whoa, whoa, whoa unto the NHRA. How will they ever survive? And if you were saying any of that, well, you were wrong. The NHRA certainly has a lot of work ahead of it for the future, and I hope the future is brighter that remains to be seen. But congratulations to you, the NHRA, that you did get a season in worthy of all the racers and champions and even the fans in 2020. <laughs> NHRA Dodge Finals in particular, let's pick up a few stories there. First and foremost, I think we have to mention what seems to be, and unceremoniously so, the last race for the Golden Greek. Chris, the Greek Karamasinis, is a man probably of the age of 90 that was a pioneer of the earliest days of drag racing right up to the modern day of fuel drag racing in Top Fuel in particular. Often noted to have never won a NHRA national event, it's not the most notable mark of his career. He is, in fact, a man of wins and arguably first. 1959 World Series of Drag Racing winner Chris Karamasini's in Cordova, Illinois. That same year, he also won an AHRA championship for Top Fuel in Great Bend, Kansas. 1960, unofficially, 
arguably, many believe that he is the first man to actually post a run over 200 miles per hour at Alton Dragway in Illinois, a speed of 204.54 miles per hour. 1964, his first NHRA national event at the Winter Nationals in Pomona, California, and the very next year, 1965, was his first NHRA final round appearance in Bristol, Tennessee at the Spring Nationals. From 66 to 1985, he won at least four sanctioned races across sanctioning bodies such as the AHRA, the ADRL, and the IHRA. With a brief absence from the sport in 1994 through 1998, he has a career that spans seven decades with wins, firsts, the heart of fans right there along with him. Folks, his best career ET is a 389 and a top speed of 313 miles per hour. Always a showman, I think it's fitting that the Golden Greek may have very well turned out the lights, as it were, on his career in the city of glitz and glam and lights itself, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm sure we'll continue to see the Greek at the track, and the legacy of the Greek will continue on with the Greekette, Krista Baldwin, his granddaughter. She picks up the mantle here soon and races top fuel. I spoke with her recently on my live show, Between the Slicks. That installment of Between the Slicks will be put in the description of this video for you to check out later. From one of the longest standing members of Top Fuel Racing to the NHRA Rookie of the Year Top Fuel driver Justin Ashley, I caught up with him at Las Vegas. Monday morning racer, NHRA Dodge Finals here at the Strip Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Justin Ashley crowned the 2020 Rookie of the Year. How's it feel, man? Feels great. You know, I'm fortunate to be able to be in the position that I'm in right now. And the truth of the matter is, on the surface, it may seem like an individual award, but it's so much more than that. It's a team award. And, you know, we did this as a whole, the entire program from Chip Lofton, the Trump Masters, to all our sponsors, to Aaron Brooks and his entire team. So I think that, you know, we keep our chins up. We uh, get ready to go in 2021 and just super happy for the guys and, and happy with what we accomplished. Definitely a good team. You're a good driver. 2020, a year to remember, a win in it, rookie of the year. And right here at the finals, a semifinal appearance after not so great of a qualifying effort. So Aaron Brooks, to his credit, pulls it out on Sunday. Yeah, that seems to be the story of our year for the most part. For some reason, we uh, go through a little bit of adversity during qualifying, but the important thing is, as a testament to this group of guys, that we turn it up on race day and, and do what we got to do. And the truth of the matter is we had the car to beat today. There's little doubt in my mind we would have won this race, and I didn't perform and I didn't do my job, but you know what, that's okay. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep, keep plugging, use it as motivation, use it as fuel, and I think the coolest part about this whole deal is that I got back to the pit and, and these guys had my back. So, uh, you know, we'll move forward, move on to 2021 and, you know, just continue to improve, continue to improve and learn from this year and move forward. All right, we're going to a long off season, picking back up with a start at the Gator Nationals in March. How are you going to have fun and pass the time over the off season, man? This is my fun. So it's going to be tough. Uh, it's going to be a long off season, but you know, I'm going to take it as an opportunity to do a few different things. I think most important is I've got to focus on my fix and flip business. Uh, you know, it opens up some more hours, uh, some more opportunity for me to focus. And, you know, on top of that, you know, make no mistake about it, I'm going to be in the daily grind of, of bringing on marketing partners that are going to help this program because I know what we have and I know the kind of value that we can offer companies. And, uh, you know, we're proud and, and happy for the companies that we have on board, and we need to expand upon that and continue to grow as a program. So I think I'll fo my focus more so than anything else will be on the business side of things. Folks, that's Justin Ashley, and he's going to tell us who called the Rookie of the Year and a win in 2020. Who was that, Justin? That's Monday Morning Racing. Funny Car still impresses with the most colorful characters in cars in the pro ranks. I love catching up with smaller teams, as you know. We'll hear from Alex Milodonovich and Chris from Little City Racing right now. Monday morning race here at the Dodge NHRA Finals at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Caught up with Alex Milodonovich, hot for teacher, Nitro Funny Car. Man, look, long trip from California out here, I'm sure, but you all got out here. 
let sum it up for me. Fun weekend at least for the gang. Always, we always have a good time when we run the car. You know that. Uh, learned a lot. We were testing two weeks ago at Auto Club Famosa with one of our new clutches, and it's showing some positive sign uh, for the performance. And for this weekend, we just wanted to take what we learned, where we left off from testing, and build on that. We did. Uh, we got bit by the gods. We did not qualify. That's okay. We actually found some things on the car that are going to show some promising sign uh, for performance. But again, with my, my Hot for Teacher crew, I love these guys. RichardFriday.com. They're, they're a good group of guys. They always have my back. I'm real proud to be here. Well, man, look, qualifying was definitely very interesting for you as a driver. Uh, on the YouTube channel, there's videos of y'all doing body work, and you've got a little bit more body work to do over the off season, <laughs> taking out two of the orange cones. Talk to me about that run in Q Q1. Yeah, first and foremost, I got to apologize to my brother. He, he's going to be doing some carbon fiber work this Christmas. Uh, put a cylinder out at the step of the throttle and it never came back. I felt it start to quiver and I thought I was going to be able to salvage it and I didn't. And when I stepped on the throttle, it just, it drove me over and there were these cars, there's no control in them. They're like hand them, handling a two-year-old. You can't control them. Uh, you can only contain them. And it just, it was, it fought the whole way and drove me into the other lane. Fortunately, uh, Terry Haddock had smoked the tires and we were ahead of him a little bit, but it was dangerous and I, I came out okay, but I should have tried my best to keep it a, a, off the center line because that would have been a good run that would have got us in the show, fortunately, but that's drag racing. This is funny cars. Definitely so. It's also been 2020 and 2020 has been a crazy year. I think y'all had intended to run more races, but the way the schedule worked out only here for an Indy, here and for an Indy one, so, 2021, what are y'all thinking? We're, we're originally going to plan to hit five races. And we'll hit both, both Kubotas, both Las Vegas's, Sonoma. And uh, maybe if I strike gold over the Christmas, maybe we'll be back hitting the full season. Got some feelers out. I've got a team of people helping me chase money. And uh, again, every time we run the car, it shows positive sign of keeping us in the game and just chasing money, and I got great sponsors helping me right now, and if I can move the needle on their business, then we can get more money to go drag racing. Folks, I'm the Monday Morning Racer for strutmasters.com. This is Alex Milodonovich, Hot for Teacher Nitro Funny Car. Thank you for your time, Alex. Thank you for having me. Monday Morning Racer here at the NHRA Dodge Finals at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Caught up with Chris with the Little City Charger. Man, look. Y'all look like you're a fun group out here. You got one good looking wicked car. Talk to me about the team philosophy, as it were, of the Little City Charger and Little City Cuda. Uh, my dad came up with the, the green and the scheme of both the cars. And uh, yeah, we just, he, he, he picked the Cuda and we were building that car and then just ended up getting the Charger to match it. So on both the Plymouth, so yeah. Well, man, they look great. Thank you. Awesome looking cars. Wish more cars out here in the pro classes looked as good as what you've got. Thank you. So y'all made the show number 16. Yeah. But during warm up, I noticed there was a fuel leak and then had an issue on the line. Was that the same bug presenting itself once again? Yes, it was the uh, uh, head gaskets were holding the manifold up. They weren't they, they weren't trimmed right, so or they didn't fit right. I'm not sure what happened, but yeah. So we're just shooting raw fuel out, so we couldn't go. We would have just grenaded it. Definitely a dangerous situation. Better to save it for another day. Yeah. Speaking of another day, 2021 coming up. What's the plans with the Nostalgia Car and this one? Uh, I think we're going to try to go to some of the Funny Car Chaoses with the Nostalgia Car and uh, both Vegas races with this, both Pomona, uh, Sonoma, and uh, probably Arizona. All right, we well, already already got the slate planned out yep. here for there for 2021. Hopefully it's not as crazy as 2020. Yeah, hopefully it's better. And, <laughs> and we see the Charger and we see the Cuda and y'all yep. have oh, a good fine. outing. Look, thank Chris, you. thank you for your time, man. Folks, I'm the Monday Morning Racer for strutmasters.com. Thank you. The NHRA Finals in Las Vegas did happen to fall over the weekend on Halloween. Sure, you did find the occasional crew member in the classic now T-Rex suit. There was also a fan that was rocking, I think, a rather accurate Fred Flintstone costume. But when it comes to Halloween, the pro stalkers definitely embrace Halloween as a class unlike any other class in the NHRA. The Alan Prusinski team 
fully embrace the new title sponsor, Camping World, with their team looking like they were ready to hike out to the local national park. But I think the ones that did it the best concerning Halloween has to be the team of Bo Force One. Bo Butner and his team, they had a presidential theme from Carr, Pitt, even Trump and Melania look alike. It was well thought out and I thought it looked great. The modern pro stalker surprisingly even looks like a big jumbo jet. Class in session. Let's look at Top Fuel first. The championship in Top Fuel was decided in the first round at the NHRA Finals. Oddly enough, the Rookie of the Year sealed it for Doug Coletta and Steve Torrance. Steve Torrance wins the 2020 NHRA Camping World Top Fuel Championship. It's his third championship in a row. And remember that he wins this championship by even sitting out an entire race, that race being the Winter Nationals. The points fall for the top eight as follows. Obviously, Steve Torrance, number one. Doug Coletta, second. Billy Torrance, third. Leah Pruitt, rounds out the year fourth, fifth, Antron Brown, sixth, Sean Langdon, seventh, Justin Ashley, eighth, Clay Milliken. Antron Brown, he snaps a 40-plus race winless streak in NHRA competition, earning a Wally over Steve Torrance in the finals there in Las Vegas. In Funny Car, Jack Beckman went out in the first round and the deal was sealed for Matt Hagen to be the 2020 champion in the semifinals when Tommy Johnson lost to fellow teammate Ron Caps. Matt Hagen went on to win the event and that gave Don Schumacher racing a sweep of the entire Nitro Funny Car season. 
The points shake out like this. Matt Hagen, obviously number one. Tommy Johnson Jr., second. Third, Jack Beckman. Fourth, Ron Camps. Fifth, with the first car that is not a Don Schumacher racing car, Bob Tasca the third. A Coletta car with J.R. Todd in sixth. Seventh is Tim Wilkerson. And in eighth, Alexis DeJoria. I swung by the crew's Petragon pit briefly to check in with Caleb Cox, the general manager over there, and that team had been through it in the past two weeks. Remember, they tragically lost Eric Lane, a co-crew chief. That's not all, though. The team, several members of it, actually contracted COVID, which barred most of the team actually coming to the race there in Las Vegas. Caleb had to cobble together a team quickly to be able to get out there and race. We're not done, though. If losing your co-crew chief and team members contracting COVID wasn't enough, their pool vehicle was T-boned and totaled after a driver ran through a red light in Las Vegas. As Caleb mentioned, well, about that time period, it's been a week from hell. Stock, an unlikely name proved to be the foil for the championship run. Christian Quadra defeated Jason Line in round one. That made Erica Enders, the points leader at the time, the 2020 champion in Pro Stock. A record-setting fourth championship for females overall in NHRA professional drag racing. She wasn't done, though, as she went on to cap off the 2020 championship with a win at the finals. Erica Enders, first in points. Second, Jason Line. Third, Jeg Coughlin Jr., Fourth, Greg Anderson. Fifth, Matt Hartford. Alex Laughlin in sixth. Seventh is Aaron Stanfield. And in eighth, notably the first car that's not KB Racing or that is not Elite Motorsports, Chris McGehe. This year in Pro Stock saw the next generation of drivers step on the scene. Jason Line, Jed Coughlin Jr., and Bo Butner all stating that they are stepping away from full championship runs puts into focus new names who will potentially be the future front runners. Names like Troy Coughlin Jr., Mason McGehe, Kyle Koretsky are now in the class. Kyle was a finalist for the Rookie of the Year and showed promise through the year. While not running every race, he debuts there at a non-U.S. Nationals race in Indy. He was able even to take out the natural Jed Coughlin Jr. in two first-round appearances and even made a final round appearance right here at the NHRA Finals. I got his thoughts on his year. This is what he said. Dream come true for me to race pro stock. I am a very lucky guy to have a caliber of team that we have and my family support behind me to chase that first family Wally in NHRA pro stock. I'm definitely excited over the new faces in pro stock. I'm looking forward to see the race and championship battles with names like Greg Anderson, Erica Enders, Alex Laughlin that have been in the class for a while. In Pro Stock Motorcycle, Matt Smith, the season front runner in many ways, with five number one qualifying spots, two wins, 
three final round appearances and a Mickey Thompson Pro Bike Battle win, he wins the 2020 championship in Pro Stock Motorcycle. What a year he's had as a tuner and team owner as well. Scotty Polachek gets his first win at the U.S. Nationals and goes over 200 miles per hour. And Matt's wife, Angie Smith, gets her second only Wally at the finals, as well as breaking the 200 mile per hour barrier in Texas at the Fall Nationals. Matt Smith, he, the champion, leads the points. Second is Eddie Krawick. Third, Scotty Polachek. Andrew Hines is fourth. Angie Smith, Fifth, sixth is Angel Sampay, seventh Ryan Ayler, and in eighth is Steve Johnson. Folks, thank you for watching right here on Monday Morning Racer. This in review on the NHRA Dodge Finals at the Strip. Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Mentioning Las Vegas, close out with this fan tip. If you're going to stay in Las Vegas, I highly recommend the South Point Casino. You're kind of out of the hustle and bustle of town, though it's easy to get to the track or the strip. You basically just go straight north and you find yourself at the track or at the strip, whichever location you want to get at. Sometimes you can find a rate as low as $69 a night at the South Point Casino. And I can tell you that it is a nice casino, nice rooms, and all the restaurants give nice, splendid food. I highly recommend primarily Prime Rib, and there's some oyster bar that was there. Highly recommend it. But there's also a 24-hour steak and shake. Another restaurant is 24 hours. There's even a bowling alley and arcade for you to enjoy in this casino movie theater as well. Check out South Point Casino. Hey, tell them Monday Morning Racer sent you. Maybe they'll check me out. I think the NHRA 2020 season, with all its twists and turns, with all its stories, was a good one and definitely one to remember. I'm already looking forward to 2021, and I hope you will be watching NHRA action right here on Monday Morning Racer. Be sure to check out all the other motorsports action that is right here on the channel. Please give the video a like, subscribe right here to Monday Morning Racer, and folks, until next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.